Hey guys, today we're talking about a few quick steps to upgrading RAM or memory on your latest 5K 27 inch iMac. So, real simple just to get started. If you don't already have the RAM that you need, there's several ways you can go about getting it. Probably the simplest would be to go to a site like crucial.com and here at the RAM uh, manufacturer, you can go right here on the home page. You can select all the information about the, the Mac that you're looking to upgrade and then it will tell you just what RAM you need. Okay, so let's assume you've already got your RAM and we're going to put it in. Real easy, five minutes in and out and you're done. Here's how we do it. So we've got our computer and our RAM and we're ready to go. Some people like to turn their computer around so that they can access the memory port. Personally, I like to lay it down on a flat surface with some sort of a soft cloth. I use one of these SD cards to help me press this little button here and that's gonna pop open the RAM door. On the top there at the inside, you see the two little levers. You're gonna actually wanna press both of those, press them out. The carriage then will elevate to where you can access the RAM. So notice something here. You can see my RAM that I'm using and you'll notice that slot, that little slot there on the right side. You're gonna want to insert in the same and that same fashion with the slot facing down and to the right. It's a little hard to see here with two hands, so I'm attempting to put this in one-handed. But essentially, don't force it in. Just try to find that, that right groove to where it'll go down on its own. There, just like that. Then we're going to take our next dim of RAM and we're going to put it in the last slot. Now ideally for the best dual channel RAM performance when you're using um, buying RAM in pairs, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put in the new RAM on the second and the fourth slots and leave the Apple RAM in the first and the third. Of course, if you're upgrading all four RAM slots at once, it probably really doesn't matter. However, it's best to follow this um, for best possible performance. A little easier to do this with two hands. So you're just gonna press that back down. And now we're going to replace the cover. The cover really isn't that easy to snap back on and so it's natural to, um, I don't know, kind of be hesitant to smash it down in there. But basically just make sure that it's um, aligned right, just press it gently um, and it should go right back into place. So now we are ready to test the system. Okay, so your RAM is installed. Now we're going to go in and we're just going to double check and make sure since you've rebooted the computer that your system recognizes the RAM. And so we're going to head over here to the top left, Apple about this Mac. And here we go. We're going to click over on memory and we're going to see the memory configuration. We have four slots. In this case, I have two with the stock RAM, four and four and the other two is a 16 gigabyte pair that we just installed from crucial.com. So there we have a total of 24 and that's how it's supposed to work. So hey, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up and hope you have a wonderful day.